everyone a hearty welcome to smile kids channel in this video we are going to deal with the chapter linear equations in one variable topic transposing terms and cross multiplication part 6 before that subscribe to our channel smiley kids so let's get started solving an equation What do we mean by solving an equation? Finding the value of the unknown variable in an equation is called solving the equation. Let's see an example. 2x is equal to 6. Here the unknown variable is x. So when we try to find the value of this unknown variable, this means that we are solving the equation. Solving an equation can be done with three methods. First method is trial and error method. Second method is the method of balancing. These two methods we have discussed in the previous videos. In this video we are going to deal with the topic cross multiplication and transposing terms. What is the solution or root of an equation? A value which satisfies the equation is called the solution or root of an equation. Let's see an example. 2x is equal to 4. Now, here the x value will be 2. So, 2 is the solution or root of an equation. First let's see cross multiplication. What is cross multiplication? If there is no addition or subtraction in an equation, we can cross multiply to solve a simple equation. Let's see an example. If we have a by b is equal to c by d, here in this equation there is no addition or subtraction. so we use cross multiplication we assume that there is a cross sign on the equal to sign according to our requirement so it will be a multiplied by d is equal to c multiplied by b that is you have to multiply a with the d and b with c this is the method of cross multiplication what is transposing terms changing of the terms from one side of the equal sign to the other is called transposing terms let's see an example let's take the example as x plus 5 is equal to 10 now here we have plus 5 when we transpose this plus 5 to the other side here it is in addition when it goes to the other side it becomes subtraction so x is equal to 10 minus 5 now what is 10 minus 5 10 minus 5 is 5 so what is the value of x x is equal to 5 Now what is 5? 5 is the solution or root of the equation. Now let's see another example. 3x is equal to 12. Now here we'll be transposing this 3 to the other side. Here it is in multiplication. When it goes to the other side it becomes division. So x is equal to 12 by 3. 3 times 1 3 times 4 which is equal to 4 now what is the value of x x is equal to 4 what is 4 4 is the solution or root of this equation now let's see an example x by 8 is equal to 7 by 4 so here we have to use the method of 
cross multiplication. So, we assume that there is a cross sign on the equal to sign. What does this mean? We are multiplying x with 4 and 8 with 7. It will be x multiplied by 4 is equal to 8 multiplied by 7. 4 multiplied by x or x multiplied by 4 will be 4x which is equal to 8 multiplied by 7 or 7 multiplied by 8 will be equal to 56. Now, we will be transposing this 4 to the other side. Here it is in multiplication. When it goes to the other side, it becomes division. So, x is equal to 56 by 4. Now, 4 times 1, 4 times 14. So, what is the value of x? x is equal to 14. So, 14 is the solution or root of this equation. Now let's see another example. 11t is equal to 33 by 7. Now 11t can also be written as 11t by 1. Now we use the method of cross multiplication. It will be 11t multiplied by 7 is equal to 1 multiplied by 33. Now 11t multiplied by 7 will be 77t which is equal to 33. Now we will transpose this 77 to the other side. Here it is in multiplication. When it goes to the other side it becomes division which will be equal to 33 by 77. Now 11 times 3, 11 times 7. So now what is the value of t? t is equal to 3 by 7. Now what is 3 by 7? 3 by 7 is the solution or root of this equation. Now let's see another example. x by 2 plus x by 3 is equal to 20. Now before using the method of cross multiplication first we have to solve this. So here we are adding two fractions and these fractions have different denominators. So first we will convert these different denominators into like denominators. How to do that? We will be taking LCM of these two denominators. So the denominators here are 2 and 3. Now LCM of 2 and 3 will be 6. So we will be converting these fractions into like fractions. x by 2 multiplied by 3 by 3 is equal to 3x by 6. x by 3 multiplied by 2 by 2 is equal to 2x by 6. Now here we got the same denominator so we will simply add them. 3x plus 2x by 6 is equal to 20. Now 3x plus 2x is 5x. 5x by 6 is equal to 20. Now 20 can also be written as 20 by 1. Now we will be applying the method of cross multiplication here. So 5x will be multiplied by 1 and 6 will be multiplied by 20 which is equal to 5x multiplied by 1 is equal to 20 multiplied by 6. 5x multiplied by 1 is 5x is equal to 20 multiplied by 6 is 120. Now we will be transposing this 5 to the other side. Here it is in multiplication. When it goes to the other side it becomes division. So x is equal to 120 by 5. Now 5 times 1, 5 times 24. Now x is equal to 24. What is this 24? 24 
is the solution or root of this equation. Therefore, the value of x is equal to 24. Question time. The questions are 12 is equal to d by 2. So, here we can apply the method of cross multiplication. So, this 12 can be written as 12 by 1, right? 12 by 1 is equal to d by 2. Now, you can simply cross multiply, right? Next question, 2a by 7 is equal to 4 by 1. So, here also we can use the method of cross multiplication. Simply cross multiply the terms. Now, third one, 16a is equal to 48. Here, we are going to transpose the terms. We will transpose the 16 to the other side. Here it is on multiplication. When it goes to the other side, it becomes division. So, you will be solving these three questions and you have to keep your answers in the comment section. Hope you all enjoyed this session. Thank you. Before leaving, do not forget to subscribe to our channel, Smiley Kids.